Meghan Markle is into the final stretch of her pregnancy now and she looks about ready to pop. So did Prince Harry accidentally confirm there will be the pitter-patter of four little royal feet soon? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are excitedly awaiting the arrival of their first royal baby, just weeks away now. But Meghan's healthy bump has led to speculation she could be expecting double trouble. Meghan has confirmed the little one, or ones, will arrive around the end of April or early May. The couple will move into their new home in Windsor ahead of the arrival where they will have space to raise their young family in the country grounds of the Frogmore estate. Last week, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended a reception hosted by the Queen at Buckingham Palace to mark the 50th anniversary of the investiture of Harry's father, the Prince of Wales. Harry chatted away to a fellow guest, Falcons War veteran Simon Weston and may have let on that the couple are indeed expecting twins. After their conversation, Mr. Weston said, we joked about Wales defeating England in the Six Nations rugby. I also warn him and the Duchess it serves him right as they will be getting plenty of sleepless nights when the baby is born. Mr. Weston said Prince Harry responded with a cryptic comment, he said if they have any more than two it will serve him right. Could that finally be a clue the surprise of twins is indeed on its way? According to the bookies, it's looking likely. Coral bookmakers make it 4 to 1 that Meghan will give birth to twins in just a few weeks' time. Elsewhere at the event, royals, politicians, celebrities, and members of various charities and businesses mingled. Alongside Meghan and Harry were the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duchess of Cornwall, along with Prime Minister Theresa May and Welsh First Minister Mark Drakford. The Stereophonics, who were supported by the Prince's Trust in their early days, were also at the event, as was Games of Thrones star Rowan Teal. The evening honoured Prince Charles's contribution to Wales in the 50 years since he was installed as the Prince of Wales. Prince Charles became Prince of Wales aged 9 in July 1958 and was formally invested with the title by the Queen in July 1969 at Carnarvon Castle. The investiture regalia he wore was on display, including the coronet, sword, ring and rod as well as the letters patent for the creation of Charles as Prince of Wales in 1958. This is likely to be one of the last times we'll see the Duchess of Sussex out in public as her due date approaches. Reports of a few false alarms have already circulated, with the Duchess thinking she could begging into labour. A Kensington Palace insider told New Idea, Meghan and Harry, and the entire palace, are on high alert because doctors have said that this baby could come any day now. There's been quite a few false alarms where they thought she was in labor and made arrangements to go to the hospital. It's been a huge roller coaster ride. At one point they even made an emergency dash to the hospital in the middle of the night thinking Meghan was in labor, only to be checked out and given the all clear. The source added, apart from the constant Braxton Hicks contractions, Doctors have said that the baby has engaged and she's showing all the signs that the baby will be here sooner rather than later.